Welcome back as Palwal received a major update recently in the form of Tides of Terraria. It's a collaboration with the game Terraria, bringing a wave of new content to Palwal. The update includes new islands, pals, equipment, gameplay mechanics like fishing and a challenging raid boss. Players can explore new biomes, encounter Terraria themed enemies and even craft Terraria inspired items using materials found within a new dungeon. In this video, I'll be updating my FSR frame generation guide for Steam Deck and ROG Ally. We'll be showing you how to use XCSS version 2 upscale in conjunction with FSR version 3.1.4 frame generation. I'll kick things off with ROG Ally windows. Do not use the preview 9 Daria build of OptiScaler mod in this game, otherwise you'll encounter random crashes. You need to use the nightly preview 12 build of OptiScaler mod in order to get it working properly in this game. I'll give the link to it in the description of the video. Just click on the dot 7 link here. Show you the mod setup process. Open the mod's archive file. Copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Need to paste them in the game's install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click manage. Click on browse local files. Open PAL folder. Open binaries folder. Open win64 folder. Paste the files here. Change the name of optiscaler.tll file to dxgi.tll Game supports DLSS upscaler Mod will replace it with XCSS or FSR upscaler Typos, my bad DXGI, done Open optiscaler.ini Just set dx12 upscaler to XCSS Now set FG type to optifg as we will be using OptiScale FSR frame generation. Scroll down until you find the init flag section. And there it is. From here, just set auto exposure to true. Otherwise, you'll see a white screen with XCSS upscale enabled. Click on file, click on save, close. We are not done yet. Open the game's install directory again. Open PAL folder, open plugins folder, open DLSS folder, open binaries folder, open third parties folder, open win64 folder, copy this DLL file nvngx underscore DLSS, need to paste it in the same directory where we install optiscaler mod, backtracking, games install directory, open PAL folder, open binaries folder, open win64 folder, paste the DLL file here. Change its name to nvngx.dll Rename Now the in-game DLSS setting will become accessible even on a PC with an AMD based GPU Show you the adrenaline settings for the game I have enabled free sync, pacing and anti-lag settings For this game I have set the UMA buffer size to 5GB My is running on BIOS version 3.4.1 I have installed Alice's latest official GPU driver that added support for Doom the Dark Ages. Using a 27 watts manual profile or 3 power value set at 27 watts, 900p resolution, CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to Alavia Bluetooth mode. This game supports both DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 modes. In order to get OptiScale FSR frame generation working, you need to run the game in DirectX 12 mode. Just select the game in your Steam library, click on the settings cog here, click on properties, click on general. Under launch options, add this line of text dash dx12. This will make the game run in DirectX 12 mode. Launch the game. Pal world is still in early access phase. In game settings, I'll set the resolution to 900p. V sync off. Motion blur disabled. Most of the settings are set to medium. Texture quality is set to high. Building drawing distance 600, roughly 60%. Yeah, DLSS setting enabled using the upscaler's quality preset. Mod replaces it with XCSS upscaler. We are done here. Apply. Open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. There it is. Just increase its size. Click on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale. Set the value to 1.1. From this drop down bar, make sure XCSS is selected. Version 2.0.1. If for some reason you want to use FSR 3.1.4. Select FSR 3.x and click on change upscaler. You'll see its version here. I'll go back to XCSS. 
auto exposure setting is on first I'll play the game without frame generation save and I close using a tunnel lens overlay to show you the performance metrics yeah this is my base look at my pals working hard gathering resources for me hitting the GPU bottleneck image quality is looking very sharp clean FPS is a bit variable 39 to 47 we are outside LSVR are range that is 48 to 120 so animation quality can look a bit choppy you already know this oh using my glider haven't played the game in a long time yeah here I feel stopped to around 37 let's enable FSR frame generation see what happens open optical menu check this setting FG active check this setting FG hard fix set the limit value to 1 do not enable FG extended setting show you the debug view FG debug view verify that FSR frame generation is working properly yeah, no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image so the game's interface should not flicker with FSR frame generation enabled the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images FSR smoothing effect should work properly mm, just disable deep of view play the game resume the game yeah FPS increased to around 70 it's 70 to 80 can observe the right amount of smoothness real world input delay it's manageable being honest you can always drop the resolution to 720p to reduce the GPU load improve the base performance it will help in lowering the latency my pal I can use my pal to fly around right there you go, mounted my pal wow <laughs> drop the resolution to 720p screen resolution drop to 720p apply resume the game yeah FPS increased to around 90 oh my god look at that animation quality smooth like butter big improvement in performance after dropping the resolution from 900p to 720p attacking this poor pal <laughs> Oh my god! So excellent results produced on ROG Ally with OptiScaler mod. I'll be honest, guys, image quality is still looking clean. Okay, with FSR frame generation enabled, sometimes our shadow quality looks a bit blurry. See? Nothing extreme. I'll just equip a torch. Yeah, some ghosting is produced around the area which is on fire area on the torch see games hard elements are not flickering there's some minor graphical artifacts okay now I'll test the game on my steam deck I have the LCD variant of steam deck its display supports up to 60hz refresh rate this is steam OS running in desktop mode download the Nightly PU 10 build of OptiScaler from GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Expand the asset section here. Click on the .7z link. Show you the mod setup process. Open Dolphin File Explorer. Go to Downloads. Here you'll find the mods archive file that you just downloaded. I have transferred it to another directory. It does not matter. Open the mods archive file. Double click. Now just extract the highlighted files. Four of them. Drag and drop them outside of this archive window like this. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Finished. Close the window. Now just change the name of optiscaler.dll file to txgi.dll. Open optiscaler.ini file. And just set tx12 of scalar to xcss. Set fg type to optfg. Scroll down until you find the in its flag section. There it is. And just set auto exposure setting to true. Click on save, close. Now just select the extracted files. Right click, cut. You need to paste them in the games and start directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage. Click on browse local files. 
games install directory open pal folder open binaries folder open win64 folder paste everything here open the games install directory again open pal folder plugins folder dlss folder binaries folder third party folder win64 folder copy this dll file nvngx underscore dlss open the games install directory again need to paste this file in the game directory where we install optiskiller mod pal folder binaries folder win64 folder right here change its name to nvngx.dll that's it mod has been installed need to add a launch argument to the game select the game in your steam library click on the settings cog here click on properties click on general under launch option add this line of text it will load the mod and run the game in directx 12 mode which is required for running optiscale fsr frame generation compatibility using gproton version 10-8 as the compatibility layer we are ready to run the game i'll switch to gaming mode this game is now Steam Deck verified, that's good to see. Launch the game. We are in Performance QM settings. I have uncapped the FPS by enabling Disable Frame Limit and Allow Tearing settings. Only level set to 2. That's it. In game settings, display mode model has 800p resolution, V-Sync and motion blur disabled. No FPS cap applied. View distance and grass detail set to low. Building drawing distance 100. Shadows, effect quality, texture quality set to medium. DLSS subscaler enabled. I'll set its preset to balance. And that's it. Apply. Yeah, we are in. Open optiscaler mod menu by pressing the insert keyboard key. Upscaler set to XCSS version 2.0.1 auto expert setting on. Frame generation disabled for the time being. Save and I play the game without frame generation. Oh no, I am overweight. Summon my pad. Mount it. Give the attack command. FPS should stay within a range of 30 to 40. There you go. I'll just enable FSR frame generation. Open up this killer menu. FG active setting on. FG hotfix setting on. Limit value set to 1 show you the deeper view don't enable fg extended setting no hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image the color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images displays are working properly for all of the images disable the deeper view save and add. close open performance game settings from here just enable manual gpu clock speed settings set the clock speed to 1400 MHz. yeah fps increased to around 60 can observe the add amount of smoothness but base fps in this game can be a bit variable causing the animation quality to look a bit jarring on steam deck see this is the lcd variant of deck oled variant supports up to 90 hertz refresh rate it should benefit more from this mod on the lcd variant you are better off playing the game without frame generation just use optiscaler xcss optiscaler I'll just switch to FSR upscaler. It may help in improving the performance. FSR 3.x. Change upscaler. Back to the game. Yeah, 60 to 70 FPS. Not a big improvement in terms of performance. Shadow quality is looking a bit blurry. This is due to FSR frame generation. My pal team is hungry again. These creatures are always hungry. So that's it with the video guys. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.